Ah, what better way to spend your day than doing something you really love? And in my case, something I used to love and I'm still trying to get back into, but ever so slowly making progress, is drawing. And that's why I've gone bought yet more art supplies. Again, from a local outlet called The Works. I think they're actually a national brand, but you know, it's a local brand. It's a local shop that's local to me, so I'm just going with the term local because, well, I didn't go anywhere else. I went somewhere local. <laughs> Simples. And I've picked myself up a couple of new pieces here. One being yet another drawn book. Now, the last drawn book that I picked up, uh, I've gone through, but I haven't really gone through in a great level of detail, so I can't review that in more depth and this is just more first impressions more than anything else but I have quite liked what I've seen here. Uh, I'm just gonna try and position this a bit better so that things are you know a little clearer for you. Ignore the nudity because it's just drawing so I'm not gonna pixelate anything out. If you are offended by the nudity of a picture that's been drawn by hand, grow up. Okay? Not everything's going to be to your liking, okay? nor does it have to be. It does give you a good idea that, uh, especially this section here, this is something that really clinched it for me when I was looking through the, uh, the you can, in the shop itself. I'll just start, here's a, here's a start of this section here. It literally takes you through all the different steps that this particular artist went through to create this. Ultimate, you know, ultimately the final form of this particular drawing. So, well, right from the beginning, when it was just a rough sketch, and then they've added up in you know, all this background colour and everything, and then smudged it all together. And to my mind, that's the way the light and everything reflects off that, just on the page itself, uh, and within the picture itself, it almost feels like it's a photograph in some regards. The way it manages to capture the light, also perfectly. And that goes through how various different permutations of the drawing have, uh, have been developed. Okay, so you've got the addition of that uh, plant pot there, it wasn't there before. Or if it was, it didn't have the actual plant in it. And more things have just sort of been added in. It's a sort of blurry image in many regards, but that's the style they're going for. You can see various different takes on it, like a doll has been added at one point and then removed and added again. Yeah. And then various, you know, how the chairs have become more detailed, more, uh, more part of the piece itself. Basically, the blurred pieces are supposed to be more sort of forgotten about in some regards, but then it becomes more and more detailed, more, you know, exact, more specific. And just in my mind, it's a very beautiful piece. But then they keep going further and further, just to show how much further you can go. They've re redrawn it again all together here. This time, introducing a woman into it as well, okay, to just add a bit more texture, a bit more context. I mean, to my mind, that is absolutely a beautiful picture in its own right. The second variation of it with the woman in makes it different and yet so very. So very, very much obviously the same location, but just this isn't the same photo. This isn't the same picture. It's completely being redrawn from scratch in all regards. It's just breathtaking to behold. It's absolutely flabbergasted in many regards and made me think. I wish I could actually draw this well now, but it's only with time and practice that I will actually get anywhere near this good. So this particular book which is by Paul Thomas and Anita Taylor. It's a drawing a foundation course. From, you know, just from what little I've read through so far, that was enough to convince me to buy this outright because it just looked uh, exactly like what I myself would need in order to get better at what I'm doing or trying to do. If any of that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't because I am rambling. This is what happens when you do these things unscripted and just literally off the spirit of the moment, which is what I do. Unless I've had audio problems, in which case I have to re-record everything. But what they hear. Next off, this is more sort of a drawing kit meant for in the house. Uh, Stribalicious 75-piece stationery set. 
top grade sketching pe pencils, 60 quality uh, colouring pens, one metal sharpener, three glitter gel pens, which I don't personally have much use of myself, and three gel pens. Now, I'm not too familiar with the concept of gel in drawings, but uh, colouring was never really my strongest point, even when I was drawing all the time, I was always just one for drawing the picture. Not much to report about the box itself, it's very similar to all of the others uh, pieces of equipment that I've already bought from the works. Uh, the tabletop easel, um, the drawing boxes, the other uh, pencil cases, wooden pencil cases that I've gotten for travelling purposes. It looks like it's the same people, but um, I couldn't really say for certain if it was because it looks like different logos and everything. Right, I'm just going to try to get myself into here, if I can. This is why you should bring things like knives or scissors or something. I just don't have the nails to uh, actually get into this. I'm going to have to get... I know what I can get. I can use the little tip of my household keys to, sort of, to make a real big loud noise when I put them down on the table there. But I can also use them to help open this up a bit easier. Easier? Now I'm making words. I'm going to get the reputation of being like George W. Bush and just making words at all the time like, uh... I hack, 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 cough, help me please, this pretzel is going to kill me. Oh, I thought it was something. This is just a bit... It is actually stuck down. I thought it was just maybe static, but, uh... No, it is actually glued down with something somewhere. Oh, that's going to damage. Things are ever so slightly. Is this still in shot? Yes. Just here. Just this bit here. That's the one piece of glue that's on. And it looks like it's actually quite a substantial piece. Yeah. Not quite sure what to make of that. But that's ruined. That's ruined this piece of paper. It's a potential source of drawing material. Hmm. It's left a bit of a mark there, but that's not something that's going to be proven that can easily be cleared up and off later. But it is a bit of a disappointment, that's uh, hmm, kind of ruined everything. I suppose one thing you could do is sort of box is give it a bit, bit of a clean up, in this case, and then, you know, do your own doodles, draw and paint to suit your own ends. But let's just see what it's actually got here. Quite a nice little selection of uh, different covering pens and pencils. This will be the glitter pens. This will be the regular pencil, just regular red, black and blue ink. Okay, so you two can pretend to be a school teacher and take this off and write, you can do better than this, F minus, and stuff like that. Black for when you need to actually sign something. Because for some reason you have to have to sign in red or blue ink, unless of course you're a teacher, in which case you sign reports in red because indeed you write everything else in red. And blue, well that's just presumably if you feel like being different. But yeah, that is quite a nice selection there. How far back can this go? I wouldn't want to go any further back than that though, because uh, it just sort of feels like it. We'll probably end up drinking the hinges. It's just a bit Yeah, the hinges aren't going to go much further back than that. Definitely the demonstration model. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go any further back than that because that will probably end up snapping everything and ruining it. Okay, so we've got a pencil sharpener. I'll just move these keys over that way just to get them out of the way. We've got one pencil sharpener, one good quality pencil sharpener. And that's it as far as odds and ends are concerned. There's no rubbers anywhere. Not one of them has any kind of rubbers anywhere. But you do get a good selection. There's basically two of each different colour. Okay, so that's going to be enough to uh, you know, provide the variation that you need because when it does come to colouring in, I find that it's more how you apply the pressure on the pencil itself that allows you to get the level of detail you, you need. If you want a deeper red, for example, you just hold the pencil down harder and then repeat the pattern you know, several times to get the darkness that you want. Uh, and the lighter you want, then obviously the lighter you press. Um, small selection of pencils for drawing. 2B, 2B again, 2B, 3 2Bs, 4 2Bs, and then 4 HBs. Okay, that's not too bad, though. 
it's actual meat on this. It's all scribalicious. Yes. The pencils are too scribalicious for you, baby. That's Beyonce, Destiny's Child, and William Shakespeare all in one. But did actually Beyonce have the Pretty Delicious thing? Or was it all of them? It was probably all of them. All of them being whoever was actually in the lineup with Destiny's Child at the time because they kept changing more times than I'd care to count. Let's take a look at these gel pens. What are these about them? I've got pink, purple, and blue. I'm a bit dubious to what this is actually about, so let's just take a look at them. Hmm. I can't say I would actually have much of a use of that myself, but uh, somebody might find those useful. I might find them useful in some regards as well, or say doing magical attacks for uh, various different fantasy characters. Adding that in might be useful. What are the colors do we get again? Purple and blue. Let's just see. What have we got? I've got purple, but the purple one doesn't want to come off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we've got the blue. Yeah. I suppose there's potential there. I suppose if I wanted to get it really fancy, let's just see. Let's get all three of these off. Let's just show you the frontage of them. If the autofocus will actually work on them, I don't know if it will. I'll just assume that's the, the case because I can't really make it out that well. What do you run? Is it old? I don't think so. But somebody might. You know, I could probably put that up in some kind of uh, artistic installation or gallery. That's a word of study just came back to mind. You know, and put that on display and say, yeah, that'll cost you £50,000 if you want to buy it. And somebody probably will, because somebody will probably actually like it. Bizarrely enough. But yeah, I think something like this would probably be ideal for adding in elements of mystical attacks if you're doing things like fantasy pieces. Yeah. But all in all, as far as the box is concerned, that's definitely a better quality box than the other boxes that I've got. And that's not to say that the other boxes in retrospective were bad. Okay, because they're all still in one piece as of this point in time, as of this record, and I am using them on a fairly regular basis. And that I might actually, at some point, end up putting pictures up on here just as sort of montage. Who knows? The sky's the limit. Um, but yeah, it's, it feels like a much better quality box. It doesn't have all the rough edges that a couple of the other boxes did have. Uh, I'm thinking of the uh, sit-down easel kit. That definitely had that little problem. Um, but in general, I quite like this. Apart from the little problem with the uh, you know, this being stuck down the way it was. But yeah, definitely two different things I can hardly recommend. And that's even having only leafed through this and just look, taking a look at it two or three different sections. This is an excellent book. And this is an excellent kit. You know, this is something you can basically put in a drawer at home and pull out when you need it. There's nothing saying that you can't add more stuff to it later on. Um, it's a good, solid piece of, uh, piece of material. And I think that with the right materials, with the right application of paint jobs and so on, I could actually give it a bit more character than it actually has. Because to be frank right now, it doesn't really have that much character, it's just a blank canvas. But then that is the purpose of art, to make something out of anything. And on that note, I'll say bye-bye. Bye-bye.